Hello. How are we all doing? Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Can we go for a very quick AV check? It's Thursday. Hope you've all had a terrific week. I haven't, but I hope you have. Mr. Jules with hello, mates. Hello, Jules. How are you doing? <clears throat> you may you may think that my throat sounds a bit sore and I look unwell. You would be correct on both counts. <laughs> I have suffered from my cold this week. Oh, yes. It knocked me out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm just about getting there now. <clears throat> uh, but I do sound a little bit rough. Um, you can hear me. That's all good. Uh, I'm going to play... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to play some Train Sim World uh, until uh, about six-ish, I think it is. Uh, Dovetail have told me that the new DLC comes out around six o'clock. They're just having some troubles pushing it onto Steam. So uh, as soon as it comes out, I shall uh, I shall switch game. Okay. <clears throat> Ginger and honey elderberry. Well, the, the cold is more or less gone. I'm kind of living with the after effects now. It's already shifted. I was I was lem zipped up to the max on Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> Whiskey every night. It was it was full on. But um, yeah. So trains. Yeah, train mechanic, Captain Flint. Train mechanic is what I'm going to play, and then trains in World DLC. Uh, the new was it called Rapid Trains or something? That comes out at six o'clock. Uh, it won't be my summer car tomorrow, Tommy. It will be the Hunter. I'll be playing Hunter Friday night because I won't be playing it on Saturday. Uh, on Saturday, I'm going to try uh, a new game, a preview of a new game, and then uh, maybe something else in the evening. Not sure. Happy anniversary. And then Sunday night trucking. Pinky Slinky, three months. I uh, give you a warm hug. Thank you very much, Pinky. Yeah, Rapid rapid Transit? I can't remember the name, Harm. <clears throat> what are you doing over to my left, your right, Ben? Uh, I moved over to this side on Sunday because it works better when I'm trucking, so I may as well leave it here, quite frankly. It doesn't really matter where I sit on the screen for some games. Um, other games it matters. There's no point keep moving around though, is there? John25, thank you for resume. Riverman, thank you for 23 months, nearly two years. Welcome Brian Cree with three months, pirated username uh, with a resume. Relegal with two year anniversary, no message, but he gets a golden acorn. Thank you, Relegal. Uh, Nighthawk with 15 months, the real Robo Chaos nipped in there with a the resume just before I went live. Hello, Typical Brothers. Tugboat with five months. Best streamer. Keep them coming. Have you eaten all those mince pies? Merry Christmas. I'm about halfway through, I think. But uh, like I say, I've saved enough so I could actually do a proper scientific test and rate them. Happy you bought Player Unknown instead of what, Reagan? Instead of the <laughs> DLC? Um, Shade Tree with 17 months. Keep the good work. Thank you very much, Shade Tree. Speedy driver with 200 bits. Uh, sorry, Paul, you're not feeling well. Glad to see uh, you and hope you feel better soon. I'm, I'm I'm on the upswing, you know what I mean? I'm over the worst of it. Thank you, Speedy. Multiplayer gamers, thank you very much for the sub. Can we give multiplayer gamers a lovely nutty welcome, guys? Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Nut House. First sub of the night. Doc Holiday with 200 bits. Hello, Paul. Hello, Doc. <clears throat> uh, no problem, Michael Douglas. No problem, sir. Whenever you're ready. John 25, 14 months. I'm sure it's meant to be 13. <laughs> Take the extra one. It's when it goes the other way. It's uh, not fun. Hey, Mark Oxley. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a bit in my throat at the moment. And uh, in my sinuses. It'll take a few days to move out my sinuses. Uh, right, let's grab a job, shall we? See if we can get something done. And as soon as the uh, DLC releases, we'll switch over. <clears throat> yes, uh, Legend, Sommy's out on Saturday, so I'll play Hunter with him tomorrow evening. Let's see. I might I might go and do... Um, Happy anniversary. I might go and do one of the other, like diesels. We haven't done a diesel for a while. Yes, I want to leave the garage. PUBG has a terrible anti-cheat. It bans you if you eliminate a streamer. Welcome I've no back. idea, Fletcher boy. That doesn't sound plausible. Um, the diesel shed was down 
here, wasn't it? All right. Happy anniversary. Let's get that one. Can I quickly check Discord? <clears throat> um, it doesn't matter, Lolsakia. I mean, we can. I can change it if you want. It doesn't matter if it's mod only or not. Um, do you want me to make it mod only? I can do that. If it's causing problems. <clears throat> Happy anniversary. No, it is mod only. It's up to you, Lord Sucky. I can I can either make it accessible to all, or you can run it when you see them trying to run it. It's because it's in the title. That's why they're trying to run it. Well, I can change it. Oh, we'll make it all. There you go. I'll make it all, put it on a 10 second cooldown, I'll suck you. There we go. Doesn't make much difference. How's my week, Jay Cook? <clears throat> it's not been the best. Uh, South Suburban. Actually, we'll just keep straight on, doesn't matter, does it? We'll just go that way. <clears throat> um, although I actually did get to go flying today. So I actually flew this morning for the first time in a few weeks. Actually, a month. It's been over a month since I've flown. And uh, we had a 35 knot um, wind. That was pretty fun. And when it was, I was at two and a half thousand feet and it was minus six Celsius outside. So that was quite fun as well. But yeah, the, the headwind, like coming back against that 35 knot wind, we were doing about 50 knot ground speed. So you just look down, you can see cars going quicker. But it was pretty fun to take off in. It just went up like a rocket. Uh, Legend, yes I am, I already said that. I'm guessing you missed it, but as soon as it comes out, I'll be switching over to it. Apparently Dovetail couldn't create a preview branch, so I can't actually play it until it releases. Mrs. GT, thank you for the resume. Rolls 14 months, McGullick with 11. Nuts Live. Uh, another one added to the tally, going for what, for more. Thank you, Nuts Live. Shambori, keep up the good work, squirrel love, three months. One Jarrett, almost two years. 23 months, one Jarrett, blind me. Brother Mug, three months. Dark holiday. I'm off to shovel some snow. I know everyone is jealous. Actually, actually, I'm quite happy to take a break from the snow. <laughs> Since we had a deluge of it, I'm quite happy. It's all gone now. Although when I was flying, you could see patches of snow where the sun doesn't hit. Happy anniversary. It's quite funny. As you, as you look down, you see the trees and you can see, like, because the sun is so low in the sky at this time of year, it doesn't hit certain patches of ground. You can see there's all snow and ice there. Young Star, thank you for 40 months. Billet box to resume. Mr. Kibberton, 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Woohoo, all aboard. Are things okay with you and the fam? Not bad, Steve. Not been so well. But, uh, I'm getting there now. <clears throat> Alright, let me just see I'm signalled in here. Nope, we're going to change that diesel. Diesel engine depot. Game on. Right, we're done. It's cold in Scotland. Well, it was... It's minus... Minus two here, but minus six at two and a half thousand feet. So that was fun. Flying in minus six. The visibility was fantastic though, because it's winter and there's no pollution. You can just see for miles. Brilliant. Although when you turn west and the sun is just in your face, it's a real hazard flying west uh, or southwest um, in winter because the sun is so low. I have to apologize in advance, but I will be blowing my nose a bit tonight. Trying to get rid of this thing. Uh, TP, Gazus, thank you for the resume. Snow Stealer. Show stealer, not snow stealer. Show stealer, thank you for 10 months. Sami, 26 months. Well, 25, so full two years now. What a fantastic experience being part of the nut house. Love to you, Paul, and the family. Long may this continue. Thank you very much, Sami. It says 26, though, mate, not 25. You, sh you wore shorts on a t shirt in Texas yesterday. 
<laughs> uh, do you want to finish driving the service vehicle and return to the diesel engine depot? Uh, what? And return to the diesel engine depot? Yes, I do. I thought it was going to teleport me back then. Mrs. GT with a year. Gold cap. I remember the first stream I ever watched of yours. It was Skylines. I've been hooked since. Keep up the good work, Squirrel Hog. Thank you, Mrs. GT. Happy anniversary. Let's grab one of these. Um, Welcome back. Let's see. 1700 on this one. That sounds like it might be fun. A damaged locomotive. Let's go and get her. Let's go and get her. Let's get her fixed. Mind games 11 months. Almost a year. Keep up the good work. Shameless Ronin. Thank you for the great content. Five months. Thank you, Shameless Ronin. Bru hits Danny with a resume. Find the damaged locomotive in the vicinity of Stone Circles. Sounds like Stonehenge. Um, where the heck is Stone Circles? I'm guessing it's going to be around the mountain pass, maybe, or the canyon. Anybody see Stone Circles on the map? Hmm. Pasture, good station, city port, diesel engine. Uh, James, I've just finished doing the steam for a while. I've just gone back to diesel. I've been doing steam the other day. Don't say it's there, dude. It's like the worst thing you can say is it's there. <laughs> it's about like useless as a chocolate teapot. Brew hits Danny. Thank you, Paul. The nut house still a nutter and proud one of that. 19 months. Thank you very much. Homie live. Hello, the Paul. My new schedule will only allow me to watch you on Thursday and Friday. Season greetings to you and the family. Much love from Idaho. Harold. Thank you very much, Harold. Hope you're well. Come on. Come on. Somebody tell me where it is because I can't see it because I've got stream of blindness and a milk. <coughs> That's my excuse for everything. I'm not well, don't pick on me. Uh, what's it called? Stone Circles. Pass. Lake. Plains. Branch. Branch. More branch. More branch. Is it having a laugh? Is it actually having a laugh? Happy anniversary. Now, I can't... I'd be amazed if I'm blind for this long. Stone circles. You see, you guys can't see either, because you would have said so by now. It's not there, is it? Alright, MJ, nice of you to turn up, mate. Yeah, we could be driving around this map a long time before we can find this. Not the map as far as you can tell. It's not just me, then. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Let the shaming begin. What are we looking for? We're looking for a place called Stone Circles. Apparently. On the Steam forums, people also say it's not on the map. I love it. It's a buggy game. Ain't no stone on this map. And certainly not in no circle. There ain't no double negative not in here. No, no. Not never. DJ Kenty, thank you for the resume. PC Tech, 41 months. Hope you're doing okay. Doing well and continue success. Thank you, PC Tech. Thank you, Scotsman. 14 months. Uh, uh, I'm going to go that way. I have absolutely no clue where it could be. Maybe that's why you get paid so much money. Because you don't know where it is and you have to find her. You get a finder's fee. 
Well, the driver said stone circles, but nobody knew what that meant, because there is no stone circles. We found him next to somebody's house. Am I on the sixth month or seventh, DJ Kinsey? I don't know, it just says resume. I have no idea, mate. No, I didn't want to go this way. I want to go the other way. Dang it. Hit the brakes! Those brakes are good. <laughs> Emma Bob! Thank you for the resume, Emma Bob. No physics on the train. Nah. Happy anniversary. It's not it's not really a train sim, it's a train mechanic sim. Why would you want physics? Well, is it fun? Is it out? It's out today. I've been told by Dovetail at about 6 o'clock, so... Is it out yet? Head towards the pass. That's where I'm going. Exactly where I'm going. I don't make it say it in months. Uh, uh, normally it comes through. I don't know. Thumbs! Thumbs with a bullseye. 50 months thumbs. Look, found it. It's not out yet. Update released. Yeah, I've got the update. I'm gone. Hit the brakes. Thank you, thumbs. 50 months of epicness. Have we got it? Or is it. Oh, I wanted to pick it up. Boring. Glorified gamer. You have a package in transit from me to, from the States, so be on the lookout. It's an early Christmas gift. I will do so, Glorified. I've got a few things on the way. I bought Mrs. Squirrel some new um, new pots and pans today, guys. I replaced the entire suite of pots and pans in the house. Got her a casserole dish, a big hot pot thing. You name it, she got it. She was well happy. Uh, I should probably pay attention to where we're going. Let's go that way. And then go that way. And then go, I'm just making this up, that way. No, maybe not that way, that way. And then we'll go left again, like that. Urticilla. When will you send me the special transport gear that I won on Sunday Night Trucking? Um, I've not been well. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. <laughs> I totally forgot, Verti. I, I literally was not very well on Monday, Tuesday, and it completely slipped my mind. Uh, mods, could you please post in the memos chat, and I'll do it after the stream. Sorry about that, Verti. Uh, Speedy, so all your Christmas shopping done? Yeah, speedy. That's, that's, um, yeah. It's all done, mate. Yep, it's all done just as soon as I start it later on. Oh no, Sommy, no. Henry lives, Sommy. Have you not heard about the story? You not heard the story, Sommy? Not only, not only does... Oh, get this, get this. Not only does Henry live to fight another day... Uh oh, no, nope, that doesn't work. That's the one I wanted. Not only does Henry live to fight another day, but I was talking to my friend about Henry, and my my friend went to my wife. Henry went, uh, Henry. My friend said to my wife, Mrs. Squirrel, she said, Henry's a brilliant, what are you talking about? And the wife went, yeah, but they just don't get up at the, like the rubbish from the, uh, from the carpet. And he went, yeah, but have you got the carpet attachments? And we were like, what? Carpet attachments? He said, yeah, there's like a carpet attachment you can get for it. Really? He said, yeah, I got the Henry Plus package. It was like, well, I didn't. I got the Henry package. So I didn't know it was a Plus package. So I went on to Amazon, and they did this bright red carpet header thing that it has no belt in it. It just works off the suction of Henry to turn it around. He said, it's amazing. So I ordered one of them. That just arrived this afternoon, in fact. So Mrs. Squirrel can now... Hoover the carpet with a Henry and be happy about it. Right, we've found it. Looks like the oxygen tank is air locked. Okay. Where the heck is the oxygen tank on this thing? I would say that might be it.
Don't tell me. We went all that way. Yeah, about 6 o'clock, apparently. God. About 6 p.m. Oh, the benches are over on this side. How's she going to be happy when she's not a fan of Henry, MJ? Well, the point is... The point is, MJ, that... Wrong workbench. Don't want the hydraulics. 100% chance. The point is, MJ, that she didn't like Henry because he wasn't very good on carpets. But that's because we didn't have the carpet attachment all this time. And I never knew it existed. So now maybe she'd be happy. Welcome back, Nutter. 3,400 for that. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. LTC, thank you for four months. Alpha Lima Echo with a resume. So, uh, well, let me put it this way. I, I've managed to make Henry usable again, and he lives for about 20 quid. So that can't be bad, can it? Says buying another vacuum cleaner. So as a treat, I bought her some new pens. <laughs> Bonus. Like, a box arrived this morning. Big, whacking big box. She was like, what's this? I said, it's for you. She was like, oh, it's for me? I was like, yeah, happy Christmas. Opened her up some pens. And then another box arrived about an hour later. She went, there's another box. I went, that's for you as well. She was like, what? And she opened it up and it had baking trays. She was like, yeah, I'm winning at life. And I'm like, this is great. I can just give you kitchen things and you're happy. This is brill. Because <laughs> I've no idea what to buy. Oh, dear. One train driver has reported damage to the locomotive in the vicinity of the Asian border. For certain, this is a suspension system. Fix the problem. Find the problem and bring the machine to the workshop. Oh, I, I don't want to hit him with those pans, Steve. The, the, these pans are not cheap pans. If you got hit by this pan, you'd know about it. <laughs> the I got a wok as well. The wok's like... You hold it, you're like... Phew. Seriously. E3. Look, it tells you where it is. What a cheat. I prefer to buy hide and see. Right, let's go right and all the way right again. Right, east port. We need to go that way. E3. Yes, it's here somewhere. Have you seen the latest FMV game Late Shift? I've no idea what that is. Absolutely none. Alpha Lima Echo of four months. Hello, Squirrel. Been loving the streams. Keep it up. Make sure to hide from those pens. Mr. Big. Thank you for 30 months. Smid. Oh, yes, another one. Love the streams. Love the games. Keep it up by Hetty instead of Henry. I thought about that, but it's basically just the same, but a different colour, isn't it? I think she'd still complain. Oh no, we've already got a blender, Steve. I'm not buying a blender. No, no. Oh, baking trays. Oh, and I bought her some Pyrex jugs. They arrived as well. Because I bought a, a glass, like a Pyrex measuring jug, and the sun smashed it, and ever since then, we've been struggling with this plastic one and it's so old, you can't even read the measurements on it. So anytime you want to measure anything, you take the measuring jug out, and you can't read the measurements. Which makes it fairly useless, because it's got one job, hasn't it? So I bought her a Pyrex one. Right, game, you're a complete scumbag. Alpha Luma Echo. Loving the streams, keep it up, make sure to hide from those pens. I read that already. See, I'm going daft. Right, let's go backwards. Let me switch a room. No, no, the kitchen's not been redone. That's that's a job for uh, earlier in the year, I think. Oh, it looks like we have to um, pick it up, I think. <laughs> to be honest, the bathroom needs doing before the um, kitchen. Press X to start the crane. I like how it moves me when it does that. Like, because I didn't park here. I parked down here. Is it the right way around? 
as it is. Oh, look at the sign. You just heard an ambulance go by your house? Uh, well, this is a stupid position to start me in. Isn't it? Why would it do that? The game is just a massive troll. Just pump me right next to a sign, so I have to... Oh, wait, I can't lift it past it. Oh, come on. <sighs> Rotate. V1. Hang on. I have to lower it just so I can rotate it. This is pure scumbaggery. To lower it down, rotate it, bring it back in. Welcome back. Take it that way. Raise it back up. This is a mega faff. Oh, I don't need this. Can we just... Oh, man. I wasn't planning on this hassle. There we go. Let's push it back. It doesn't help that the controls are completely stupid. Exactly. Too low terrain. Happy anniversary, Nutter. I was waiting for it not being able to fit between the platform and the uh, the arm of the crane then. Okay. This is crazy. See, it's stuck on this now. So I had a feeling this was going to happen. It's stuck between that and the platform. Can I just, like, move the train forward? Because it's in a stupid place. I didn't park it here. That's the point, Mark. Sir. I did not park here. The game spawned me here. I, I parked in the green circle and it moved me and went, hey, go start that. This is a dumb position to start. What a load of rubbish that was. Wait, I think we might better... Reversing. Time to delete the game. Actually, I think we've gone into the right place. No, we're not. Almost. Uh, the real robber case, 10 months. I uh, thought it was 7. I've had a wonderful time in this community, and I wish you a Merry Christmas. And you. Mad villain with a resumed jewels. You romantic. You buying kitchenware for Mr. Skull. I know. I'm such a romantic. I'm what they call a practical romantic. <laughs> the kind of person that goes, Yeah, romance is nice, but here, have a practical gift. Pest Frosh, 13 months. Well, I'll have to check out Train Sim World around 6 o'clock. Let's see if it's actually come out. <clears throat> What's in the DLC? Rapid Transit. It's the DBR 1442 Deutsche Bahn uh, on the Seaberg line, I think it is. Something like that. Le Leipzig line. Is it Leipzig or Leipzig? And I can never remember. Sebster. Four months. Thank you, Sebster. Does Lord Dolph Shire like his pick on your bed? He can't see it, Lotus. But I will say this, Lotus. That is probably... Like, forget the design. I love the material, Lotus. I absolutely love the material. It feels so warm in winter. So thank you for that. The latter, Leipzig, right. 
Uh, appears that the shock absorbers in the hydraulic suspension are damaged, but it may not be the main cause of the problem. Examine the, all the elements of the suspension system and get no money for it. Well, I can see some broken stuff here, can't you? Look at this. That's broken. That's broken. That's broken. Let's try t'other end. YOLO! 1969 YOLO! Thank you for subbing. Can we give YOLO a nutty welcome? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the house, YOLO. Hmm. Wait, how many jobs were there? There's three more not found. Said it may not be the only thing, which implies... Possibly... Could it be something like on the control unit? How do we get into that bit? Don't think it's the engine. Try this lot. <laughs> oh, that looks a bit messy. And that one. That spring. And that other spring there. There we go. Okay. I think we got all of it. Let's have a look. Yep. So, we need to get this, uh... Axle box thing off. Uh, Speedy Driver. My girlfriend says your voice is nice, because when we are laying in bed and I'm watching your streams on YouTube, your voice puts her to sleep. I have that effect on women. Uh, let's take that away. bits um to the bench to the bench mechanic i think there's some hydraulic stuff to be done here uh 100 chance of repair but don't need to 100 100 let's fix that one I managed to do the same to you on a mile. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm, be I'm basically being told here right now that Squirrel, you're a great streamer. You managed to put us to sleep and it's wonderful. <laughs> I really don't know how to take that. Um, installation mode. I'll take it as a compliment, although I'm not sure it is. Yes, we love watching you play, Squirrel. It sends us straight to sleep in bed. Good times. The thing is, like, popping these springs on here, it's just like, dunk, dunk, in real life. Can you imagine how much effort that is? I think that's everything. I have a soothing voice, Fletchy.
taking it as a positive and not a negative. I am doing. Um, right. Let's take that one. The diesel D1. Do I have to go and get it? <sighs> Farmer's dynasty is out. Meh. Speedy, it doesn't put me to sleep. I could watch your streams all day and all night, but it puts her to sleep, so she doesn't want to t talk my ear off, lol. That sounds like a win-win for you there, Speedy. <laughs> Pure win-win, that is. Uh, go to D1. Let's go the... Let's go this way. You just bought some Spezzy, never tried it, so I thought you should get some, Jamie. Uh, Flo, we're gonna we're gonna start it up as soon as it releases. I've got it installed, just waiting for it to unlock. <laughs> Indeed, deadly chicken. All the sleepy bots. That's what it is. Floaty fat man, thank you for the resume. Peri peri chicken burger and chips. That's what I have when I go to Nando's. <clears throat> I prefer the burger. Uh oh, wrong one. That one. D1, wasn't it? It's up here. Uh, BF1248, thank you for the resume. Welcome back, Jersey. Which won't let you send a message. You can't get off the new site to the old one. You're committed now. You've never been to Nando's, Mr. Twiz. You really should try it. It's quite nice. Uh-oh. Gone the wrong way. I think it's this way. One sec. Yeah. Over the roller coaster bridge. You bought the special transport DLC on ETS and you're really impressed, Mr. Mush. Uh, well, I was going to do Mad Villain, but unfortunately it was ill Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I was going to make the video on Monday to special transport. And my voice was so bad. And my nose so blocked that the video just would have been ridiculous. So I couldn't make the video. Like, when I get a cold, it stops me from making videos. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> you wonder if they get special transport working with multiplayer? I can almost guarantee not. Because the, the MP relies on... Basically what the MP does is it removes all of the AI vehicles and then injects plays into those positions. I, I feel that there's almost no possibility that they could get the AI working for multiple people at the same time in an MP game. It's just not going to happen. We're almost on track. Now we are. You hate being sick. I hate being sick. Really hate it. <sighs> Had to get your eyes dilated a couple of hours ago for an exam. This doesn't worn off. Paul has quite the halo around him. Well, you know. What can I say? Yeah, they'd have to change it. Change its name from Special Transport to Special Carnage. If they did it on MP. How are we going to know when this thing's released? That's what I want to know. 
Um, damage transmission in the truck. Okay. Happy anniversaries, Nutter. Well, that's a bit obvious. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I kind of feel that we're, we must be on about the sixteenth job or something on the diesels now. I kind of feel that it should be getting a bit more tricky, you know. Hundred uh, percent chance. Crazy. It's like done. Welcome to the Just not. Uh, who's that? Kyo Tomf? Kyo Tomf? Is that how we say your name? Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the Nut House. Can we give Kyo Tomf a nutty welcome? Probably massacred that name. Uh, what do I want here? How do I bring up my tablet again? T. Improve the workshop. 11 grand. What can we improve? Electrical workbench. Don't have enough cash for this. There we go. They're all on level 4. That's on level 5. See, so if you look at these. Job number 2. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So that's job number 18 on that train. But this has dropped back to job number 2. And that's job number 11. I don't get this. You think it's Kyoto NF? Ah. Could be. Could be. Might be right. Braking system. Now, is it going to be the front? That looks broken. That looks broken. And... Happy anniversary. That looks broken. Wow. Two bolts holding on the entire braking system on the train. GG. Uh, you see, like, the update is on my summer car. It's funny, even though your house got a fire, gone from fire. When your house catches fire, what, um... What do you go back to? Is it just a charred remain? Like, what do you do for a house at that point? You basically just live on the... On the island. Like, does it ever come back? If you, if you reload it, it just come back or something. Do you lose it completely, or... Like perma loss, or seems a bit of a weird thing to put in, to be honest. Yeah, you know, if you lose your house, you've lost your garage, you've lost your shower, you know, you've lost. <laughs> You've lost pretty much everything. What's that for before you found out? Fair enough. I just keep backup profiles anyway. If you go to the um, Amistech folder, if you go to App Data Local, is App Data Local, App Data Roaming, App Data Local, Amistech, I think it is. There's a folder in there. You just copy that. You don't lose anything then. The garage doesn't burn. What? So your entire house just burns down, but the garage just sits there. It's amazing. Exactly. How do you answer the phone? I don't know. Let's do job number 18. The truck frame shows signs of wear. Oh my god. That sounds like a big job.
Wow. May have bitten off more than I can chew. Look at this. Oh my god. Front truck frame. A worn part in the rear, and then a load of parts in the front. Happy anniversary, Nata. Ay ay ay, look at this. This is completely wrecked. Yeah, this is not going to be a two minute job, is it? You're having trouble connecting your Twitch chat to your OBS and using Streamlabs, but my browser says it does not seem to work. The version is OBS 64 bit, Mikey. I don't, I don't really see what your problem is. If you log into Twitch in your browser, when you go to Streamlabs, it'll just authenticate against that. Then you you basically build up whatever you want to put into OBS. It'll give you a URL. You put the URL into OBS. That's how it works. These springs are a bit mashed. Or then again, maybe not. Which other supports do you mean? There's no easy in between. You either get a thousand income or replace a part. Yeah, I agree, Johnny. It's it's so badly thought through, isn't it? Like replace the entire tr entire truck, get a hundred, like a thousand dollars. Place one tank, get fifteen hundred. Like what? You find it hard to believe it's Christmas in a week. Ooh, that's cheeky. Orange, does that need replacing? Welcome back, Nato. How is that? F five parts to be found, six parts to be found. I guess some of them, like, might be inside other parts, you know? Like, there could be something inside this electrical motor. Uh, Michael Brown, no problem. Squirrels are not to thank you for the resume. Floaty, 21 months. Ah, there we go. The better TV plugin was blocking the share button. Not well, 21 months. Yay, you fixed it. <laughs> Did my Prezi come, Ms. GT? Uh... I'm not 100% sure, if I'm honest. There's so many things, like Amazon stuff and Lord knows what's been arrive, uh, arriving at the house. It's kind of hard to keep track of. So I'll have to... I'll have to let you know, I'm afraid. Uh, hmm... This is not an easy one. In order to get the frame, I need to get all of the wheels. This is this is monstrous. This is a complete disassembly. Taking this thing off. Oh, my God, it is complete and utter disassembly.
axle box. Wheel axle. Yep. We might be here for some time with this one. ready to pop a wheel out <laughs> thing is what i want to know is how are you going to get the truck frame to your workbench how are you going to move this thing to your workbench mind you how's that going to be floating when we take all the wheels out so that's interesting see i mean it could be that there's something wrong with the parts in here For example, see, until you remove that, you don't know. Wow, Assembly is going to be even worse. Uh, worst squirrel stream log thing. What does that mean? What time is it? Yeah, six o'clock. That DLC should be coming out shortly. Hey, Baz. Mikey. Dina says hi, Slim Jim. <laughs> right, that one. And that one. See that? That looks like it's rusted to me. But apparently it isn't. Oh my god. Let's get the springs off. Stripping it right down to the chassis, that's just nuts. Hey Jim Bob. 41 months Jim Bob. Thank you so much. 41 gone, many to go. Wish me luck as I do my 160 nautical mile cross country flight before my exam tomorrow. Stay nutty. Dude. Dude, dude. You're way ahead of where I'm at. Best of luck to you. Hope it goes well. This time tomorrow, you might have your PPL. You are repairing the chassis. Yeah, but I would, I would have thought that what you'd do is bring in a brand new chassis, move all the parts onto it, and then take the chassis away and repair it somewhere else. Because it ain't going to fit on that workbench, is it?
Oh, wait. Now we can repair it. Look, it's gone. The train is now just floating. Look at that. It's amazing. Durka Durka, how you doing? I'm not bad, mate. Just getting over a cold. Just knocked me out for the last few days, but apart from that, all good. Hope you're well. Thing is, I'm not, I don't think we've even found all the parts yet. That's the worrying thing. I think that's one, you know. All this side looks good. That side looks good. Can't see anything significantly wrong. Happy anniversary. Oh, apparently we've got all the parts now. Okay. Let's go and uh, take the frame to our workbench. Where is it? I've just got it in my backpack. Hang on. Truck frame. Here it is. 100% <laughs> repair it? Look, it was on 6%. 15 grand to repair that. Yeah, I'm getting better. Uh, squirrels and Nutter resumed. Badger Simp, three months. Shy Wolf with a resume. Who did I miss? Mr. Reese, man. 13 months, wishing you, your family, and all the nuts as a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Same to you, Matt. Thank you very much. Right, brake caliper. We can do that. Uh, we can do that one. This is an expensive repair bill. Long workbench. Steel and rubber springs. We can do that. Is there a plane mechanic sim? I'm actually not sure. Happy anniversary. But I imagine one of them's being worked on, along with a submarine repair sim. And a, how else can we use this engine repair sim? How can we sell new money for old rope sim? Uh, so that's one. Hydraulic piston. The underscore four. I like how it says the underscore underscore four. Strongman lifting the truck onto the bench. You call the hacks. Wrong bench. Right. Hydraulic bench. Brake hoses. No problem. If they do a. Plain mechanic sim, it needs to be as realistic as I have to sign off every part to change. <laughs> yeah. When I flew today, the um, the attitude indicator on the plane was completely rip. Had a sign over it, and we picked. We had a look underneath, and the, and the attitude indicator was like, no matter what you did. And we had suction, so because it's driven by suction. Suction was fine, but the attitude was broken. Right then. Let's reassemble. DLC is out. I shall finish this job. I have started, so I'll finish. Shouldn't take us too long. Depends if I miss anything. Yep, the plane had a bad attitude. Oh.
Shouldn't take too long, he says, forgetting he needs to assemble a whole train drive. I got this, Bez. I got this. It seems to be heavy hauls. Now we're getting an update. This should be the new DLC. I've already got it. I've already got it installed. Just needed it to actually release and activate properly. Oh, in real life, this is a complete rebuild. Don't bill me! 200 bits, thank you very much, don't bill me. Hello, sir. Hello back. Oh, and I forgot the underscore said Danger Mouse. All the springs. John Fly, thank you for the host, John Fly. Yeah, so my instructor said to me, he said, um, I think I've done about 17 or 18 hours. He said, you're a, you're a bit ahead. You're a bit ahead now. He said, um, we've done quite a lot of stuff. He said, but you just need to get that airlord done now because it's, uh, it's holding us up now. And I said to him, first couple of weeks of January, I'll nail that and some other stuff. So I'm going to focus on my air law, human performance, and something else. I can't remember the other one. I need to get some exams done. Then I need to do my solo. And then I need to do two and a half hours in the solo. And then we'll be doing cross country. Mondoron. Thank you for subbing Mondoron. Can we give Mondoron a lovely nutty welcome? Yeah, Durka, I'm looking forward to it, mate. I want to get these exams out of the way because they're like, uh, exams. It's like being back at school. Well, unfortunately, you have to do it. Today, we were doing uh, engine failures at two and a half thousand feet. That was fun. So, basically, you're up in the sky and then all of a sudden you have an engine failure. What do you do? That's essentially what we were doing. <laughs> Any ideas, guys? What do you do? What's the first thing that you do when your engine fails? You suddenly lose power in a plane. What's the first thing you do? Bonus nuts for the right answer. Jump out? No. Look for a clearing? That's the second thing you do. So that's the second thing you do. Nose down slightly. I'll give you that one, Hilo. I'll give you that one. So as soon as you lose power, the most important thing is to make sure that you maintain airspeed. Because without airspeed, you'll stall. And if you stall, you don't have any control of the plane anymore. Right? So the first thing you do is trim for, in this case, 70 knots. Yeah? The second thing you do is immediately start looking for somewhere to land. In that order... That order. Right, so what am I missing here? So you trim for 70, maintain your glide. Then you start looking around for somewhere safe to put the thing down. And as soon as you've done that, you start getting ready for the rest of the bits. Like seeing if you can fix the problem, ma making a mayday call, that kind of thing. And then when you get down to a thousand feet, you should be pretty close to where you're going to put the plane down. Assuming you can't solve the problem. You then start doing things like cutting the fuel. Turning off systems, but not the electrics. So you just need to put the flaps down. Last thing you do is put the flaps to full. And then you turn off all the power, turn off all the electrics and glide her in. It's one of those things that you hope, you know, it'll never happen, but you need to know what to do in case it ever does. Because it does happen. It does happen to people. Not many, but, you know, it's got to happen to someone, right? We're able to save game. That would be, that would be great if you could do that.
All right, let's put the electric engine back. So many parts. I'm just glad ratio train and plane electric Freddy. Uh, I can't remember the exact numbers. We, we glide. We glide at 70-75. Uh, I can't remember how far it can cover in that speed. But you're looking... I mean, if you're at 2,500 feet, you're looking at about three minutes before you land without power. So you've got about three minutes to work out where you're going to land, make your calls make all your checks, try and fix the problem. And three minutes is not a long time. And if you imagine, like, it's all right in a training scenario. Imagine doing it in real. Yeah? Imagine your engine actually just going. You're like, what? <laughs> you lose time just going, what the heck? <laughs> and it, it like, like uh, my instructor said, it could just be, could just be that your passengers knock something or fiddle with something, like, you know. There might not actually be a plane failure. He's just not, the fuel cuts off. And, oh, what's this do? <laughs> Crazy things like that. Rapid transport is out. Yeah, we'll be trying it shortly. Three minutes, not long for real. It's a few minutes to get to work out what's going on. Exactly. And the adrenaline's there as well. Because you're, you're about to put your plane down in a field. Don't tell me you're, there's no adrenaline. Well, you don't have a parachute when you're in a small plane like that. You just don't have one. You can't... At such a low altitude, the parachute doesn't have time to deploy and arrest your speed. That's the thing. I don't know what the minimum altitude is for a parachute, but it's not 2,500 feet. I know that. And you couldn't sit in the cockpit with a parachute on. And to get the canopy off, you have to pull, like, two levers. And it's minus six outside, so very quickly you start to get exposure problems as well. Not good. And then you've got to jump out the plane without hitting it. How many parts have I got left? Ooh. I'm gone. Get in! Like a glove. That was massive. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear. What are repairing? A diesel engine that had, had a 6% truck frame on it. Right, let's see if this thing's released.